changing space innovations driven by SMEs and startups are changing the global space industry. My name is Stella Tkachova and I'm the EIC program manager for space systems and technologies. My role is to propose a vision, create synergies between space projects and encourage market-driven innovations. My main objective is to support European space SMEs and startups to achieve breakthrough innovations. 20 years ago, who would have imagined that today, in 2023, we would be witnessing in space in orbit satellite servicing, regular flights of reusable launchers or space logistic vehicles launching CubeSats? Today, competitive driving forces, disruptive innovations, fast track qualifications, and numerous launches of satellites are changing the way we perform space exploration. In 2023, there are unprecedented opportunities for SMEs and startups to achieve breakthrough innovation and tap into new space markets for both upstream and downstream applications. Traditionally, the fourth biggest global space player, Europe, in 2023, is experiencing a growth of space tech, SMEs and startups through whole Europe. The EIC is an important supporter of these companies, enabling them to develop market-driven innovations, helping them become competitive and leading players in the fast-evolving global space industry through its EIC Pathfinder, Transition and Accelerator programs. With its two space challenges in this year work program, the EIC is proposing topics today green and clean solutions for space, preparing for the long-term future with the IC Pathfinder Tier 1 and 4 in space solar energy harvesting for innovative space applications. Tapping in the future of market opportunities, EIC Accelerator Tier 6 to 9, customer-driven, innovative space technologies and services. EIC Pathfinder in space solar energy harvesting for innovative space applications. So the questions are, how can we make use of the 24-hour solar energy? How can we collect, convert and transmit the energy in space? Is it possible to power future spacecraft in orbit or even rovers on the surface of the lunar surface? Is there a way to use in space clean energy to generate future fuel cost savings? These questions are important and addressed through the Pathfinder Challenge. Just imagine how the use of solar energy can change the future of space exploration. Or picture the use of solar energy for in-space propulsion of spacecraft in different Earth orbits or for future lunar space missions. Lunar landers or rovers can be powered by solar energy, which would have various applications like in situ resource utilization. One can also imagine using solar energy to power small sats or CubeSats. Solar energy can also be indispensable in performing in space assembly and manufacturing and orbital corrections. In Space Solar Energy Harvesting Challenge addresses the collection, conversion and transmission of solar energy in space among various spacecraft, grids or retransmitting stations in space. Clearly, there is a need for clean and renewable in space energy that will encourage breakthrough innovations and approaches, methods and technologies for increased end-to-end efficiency in the collection, conversion and transmission of the energy. Thus, addressing the need for additional in-space power for satellites or for using solar energy for innovative green propulsion for sa powering satellites or space tugs 
and potentially generating fuel cost savings. Mastering the use of in-space clay energy would radically change the way we think about space exploration because we will have access to infinite energy and achieve strategic autonomy due to the renewable energy source in space. So let's look at the EIC Accelerator TRL 6 to 9 customer-driven, innovative space technologies and services, tapping into future market opportunities. Today, there are more than 10 tons of space debris with 1,900 rocket bodies still in space and 2,250 dysfunctional satellites, resulting in the loss of operational satellites and threatening the lives of astronauts on board space stations. How can we protect the EU space infrastructure? How can we avoid space debris? How can we reduce the amount of space debris? Is it possible to collect, recover and transform space debris? Can we extend the lifetimes of satellites in your orbit or do you orbit them successful? Can we have autonomous in-space collusion avoidance capabilities? Can we have active debris removal for both cooperative but also non-cooperative objects in space? Is it possible to perform in-space assembly and manufacturing in space? Or fly robotic experiments on board unmanned microgravity platforms? Well, customer-driven, innovative space technologies and services is about market-driven innovations. Today, there is a need for collusion avoidance capabilities, collection, recovery, and transforming of space debris in order to mature the in-orbit satellite servicing. There is this need. This will secure the future continuation of space exploration and address the need to tap in potential markets for servicing geo and non-geo satellites in orbit, extending their lifetime and generating revenues for satellite owners. Imagine having recyclers autonomously capturing inactive satellites or other space debris which you can recover certain components or rescue them. Imagine having the capabilities to perform orbit raising or refuse satellites or repair satellites that experience deployment failures during launch. Imagine if small sats are capable to self-assemble themselves in orbit or modular satellites are regularly assembled in orbit. Another important aspect for Europe is the retirement of the International Space Station in 2030. Will EU researchers continue to have access to microgravity environment and fly the experiments in LEO microgravity platforms? Important questions. One cannot stress enough the importance of scaling up disruptive innovations for SSA, in space logistics, Earth observation, navigation, and SATCOM solutions. EU new space SMEs and startups are important players in the EU space economy and are changing the value proposition of the European space industry. For further information, check our EIC work program 2023 on our, the EIC website. Thank you for listening.